welcome back in this session we're going to talk about echo sounders in olden days uh, mariners used to use what's called a lead line lead line had a heavy weighted ball it also had a hole at the bottom which was called hollow and it had a thread which was a rope which was color coded for various depths the mariners used to put a sticky paste called tallow in the hole which is hollow and uh, throw it down the seabed to get the depth uh, by using the the amount of rope paid out and once they collected the lead line back on board they also get the sample seabed which is was stuck in the uh, tallow this was olden days obviously nowadays uh, there are digital means to find the depth what is called the echo sounder which uses echo ranging principle so basically your yacht sends out a pulse down and that pulse is received back your echo sounder measures the time taken from transmission to reception and basically uh, multiplies that by speed of sound in water which is 1500 meter per second on an average and divided by two this is the echo ranging principle because it travels twice divided by two uh, we're gonna have a look at uh, the actual operation of echo sounder uh, you start off by powering it up and the moment you do that then you start getting the echoes on the charting area that gives you the range on various scales that gives you the digital readout and that dbt which you see 5.2 meters that's depth below transducers in meters dbt all depth below keel you can set these modes parameters you can notice them what mode you are in at the bottom of the screen as well you also have actual or set actual this is to put you back in the actual depth display if in case you have replayed to see the history of your depth you can set it back to actual and in fact you should always have it in actual don't forget to put it back in actual if you have replayed it you also have lat long displayed date and UTC displayed here at the bottom you have various parameters which you can change using the parameters button let's say you want to change the range uh, you highlight that bit using that button change the range here this should be closely matching up with the average depth in your chart so always use uh, chart and echo sound in correlation if you use the wrong scale you will have wrong values you can also change the unit meter feet of up you can also change the gain higher the depth more the gain lesser the depth less the gain also if you have soft seabed you should have a higher gain you can see that the patch increases the moment you increase the gain here you can change the mode of the display you can either have dbt uh, which is depth below transducer or you can have depth below c which is total depth which adds up your uh, draft to give you total depth so if you set it up draft and you change to depth below C mode then it basically adds the draft to it and you can see how it's changed to 13.3 meters you can also have it as depth below keel which is taking into account your offset and uh, offset is an extra bit of safety which you might put in to be more careful like some companies might ask you to keep a 10 percent uh, extra uh, as you can see so you can add that value here which kind of reduces your lucky clearance display so if i set it to four actual depth was five but then if i change it to depth below keel mode then it shows me a one meter uh, dbk so that's 
time to be researched safe. Then you also have various alarms, like you can set shallow water alarm or depth alarm. Uh, you can have two sets of alarm, shallow and depth uh, alarm, both of them. This is how you operate an echo sound. We also need to know the errors of echo sounder. Speed of sound changes when the area is medium or various densities. Uh, its speed of sound reduces in dark water, so the lesser the density, slower the speed of sound. And what happens is uh, in dark waters you tend to get tend to uh, show more uh, depth than actually it is, and it's quite dangerous. So just be careful that in dark water the echo sounder might be showing you extra depth which, where it doesn't exist. Speed of sound also changes with temperature. So in this picture you can see that in hotter temperatures uh, the speed of sound increases and whereas in colder temperatures the speed of sound reduces. So if you are in a colder region please make sure that uh, you take an extra bit of safety because echo sound will be displaying more depth than there is actually available. You also have Pythagoras error. This is uh, basically based on trigonometry. So if you have an echo uh, which goes down perpendicularly below your bottom, then there would be no uh, Pythagoras error. However, if you have ships with big beams where you have a transducer, transmit, transmitter on one side and a receptor on the other side, the echoes travel that further distance which gives you a wrong uh, sense of extra depth. Uh, that is basically based on trigonometry. You also have second trace echoes problem. That's basically when you have a very soft seabed and the echoes are very slow to come back. Uh, what happens is, uh, let's say you have a depth of 22 and the echoes are slow to come back. Uh, it will actually show up at 2 meters rather than 22 meters. Uh, that's because the echoes have taken a longer time to come back. This is also known as uh, round the clock error. Sound second trace echo or round the clock error. You also can get multiple echoes when you have the rocky bottom good reflecting seabed then the echoes will go bouncing back several times at the same location. And the result is that you might get multiple echoes at the same time mark. You also can have echoes due to bubbles or cavitation and that can show up as echo on your screen. also have problems with shallow water effect. Thus the depth which would be shown in your echo sounder but doesn't take into account the depth which is much much shallow on the side or in some cases you might have two echoes at the same mark one showing 10 meters another one 5 meters. These were the errors of echo sounder. Thanks for watching.